I've got some really unusual collectibles to show you this time in our um, February general sale. The most amazing garden sculpture here, um, which is lot number one. Um, this one is signed on the back. Uh, this, one's, this one is uh, marked Fondo um, Lamette, which is um, a Naples maker. Uh, this is verdigris bronze, really nicely weathered as well. And it's on this uh, stone plinth, which I think is lovely, um, ready to set on top of maybe a sundial base, something like that. Um, but the main thing about this and the most attractive part is that it's nicely weathered. Um, it's a good maker as well. They can make sort of a thousand pounds or so. This one is in at three to five hundred. It does have a, a few um, condition issues with it, but it's um, really nice as a small garden sculpture. Nice sundial as well, or sundial top. <laughs> Quite a bit difficult to see on a video. I'm not expecting you to see what it, um, what it actually has said on it, but it is a sundial and again, nicely weathered. Uh, that's lot number two in the sale. Should be 100 to 150, something along those lines. And that's white marble as well, a, a huge single slab of marble. Um, the unusual collectibles uh, are all strewn across this table. The first one, a nice portable size letterbox. This one's tabletop. It is a reproduction. Um, you do see these um, being Victorian and sort of Edwardian as well. Um, this one is a much later reproduction, but I think it's just a really nice, nice centerpiece. Um, and that should be 100 or 150. Again, something along those lines. This is very unusual. Lot number 13. So it's housed in a mahogany case. And if we open it up, amazing shell work panels. And these are hand, uh, well, obviously they're hand glued onto uh, the base. And this is called a sailor's valentine. And because there are two, it's, it's a double valentine. So that one obviously is supposed to be more like that way with the heart in the center. And these are 19th century and they're very rare pieces. Again, these can make thousands at auction, um, but they're just very attractive. And most of the shells are still there and stuck down. This one I believe is in at uh, three to 500, something like that. Um, and the hinge just needs a bit of repair on this one, but uh, nice and original as well. Unusual to see at an auction. Um, this is very nice. Lot 18, a nice cast iron stick stand. And this is in, uh, in the manner of Christopher Dresser with all of the um, uh, floral casting on the back and it's with its original drip tray at the bottom. Nice heavy cast iron stick stand there, really like that one. That should be 100 or 150. Um, all sorts of other interesting collectibles, more fireside items, a nice highly polished copper coal bucket there. A pair of unusual lamps. <laughs> Look at that. Someone's had a bit of fun with an acetone. Um, cartridge there, and another one behind it. I'll move that. Flameproof switch box. <laughs> and now it's a lamp. <laughs> Very unusual ideas out there. I think we've featured this one heavily in, um, in our advertising. That's lot 38. The old um, Jeep radiator grill, which does have working lights as well. Let me see if I can turn them. Hey. Plugged in as well, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't that ever happen at, when we're doing one of these videos? And that should be a couple of hundred pounds. That's nice. You can wall mount it as well. Perfectly ready for the den. What else have we got? Um, all sorts of really nice advertising signs actually in this sale. Um, we usually have a nice selection in here. We've got the McFarlane Lang & Co. Rich Cakes. That's a mirror. Got a nice dairy supply um, enamel sign there on its own. And of course the advertising pig. The butcher's advertising pig there for Harris. And this one's nicely mounted onto um, a marble base as well. All sorts of nice decorative objects. Um, got a ton of hi-fi again in this sale. All sorts of records and hi-fi systems and speakers. And we'll keep going through here. This is really nice. Um, 
picked this out earlier on. It's really, um, so this is 19th century again, and it's uh, gilt wood framed. Um, and the most attractive part about this is the mirror has um, started to oxidize and it gives a really nice um, weathered vintage look again. I think people mostly buy these mirrors so that they can't look into them. <laughs> Don't know what that says about the person buying it. <laughs> Some nice other bits in here, what, what can we see? This um, is quite a well-known design. This is Keith Murray for Wedgwood Pottery. Um, very well known, Keith Murray for designing pieces for Wedgwood. And uh, that's a nice globular vase. That should be around 100 or so. A nice silver topped jug as well. And all the usual collectibles you can ever find in the granary. This is a really nice collection here as well. All perpetual calendars ranging from um, early 20th century to Art Deco. And they all work as well. Look at that. And this one has a spinning dial in the center so you can change the date at the top. That's just a really nice appealing collection. They're all being sold as individual lots. So you don't have to have five desk calendars. <laughs> oh, and this just before we move on again. I'd be interested to know if anyone can tell me what this is before I say it. And before I remember what it is. <laughs> so it's got a handle there and then it has two smaller attachments inside. And this is an original 19th century grain tester. <laughs> Completely useless now, I believe, but <laughs> and it's in its original leather case with a nice steel um, grain tester, apparently. And uh, yeah, so if you're in need of one, this one has survived the centuries already, so it'll probably do a few more years of service. <laughs> I can imagine that's probably quite a rare tool and should be a couple of hundred pounds or so at least. Um, we've got all sorts of clocks in this sale as well. I, I won't begin to show you the sea of clocks that we've got, but if that's what, something you need, then this is definitely the sale to come along to. Um, we've got a massive range from 400 day clocks to mantle clocks, slate clocks, all the sorts of ones you can imagine, um, all from, funnily enough, a clock repairer. So um, come and have a look at that. We'll have a quick look at the furniture as well before we start. So just gonna show you a few pieces of the furniture that we've got in the sale down here. This is lot 2361. Very easily recognisable piece of furniture. This is a Globe of Vernica bookcase, um, but a really nice, large um, lot of sections that we've got here. Um, and it looks like there's an extra base, perhaps, on this one as well, or perhaps that's the top. Again, um, but it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, six sections plus one. Um, really collectible things, and they always do well at auction. This one should be probably around five to eight hundred pounds. Um, they usually depend on the number of sections that you've got in them. Um, I can see a golden flamingo from here. <laughs> if, if this suits your home, then um, you probably won't see another one at auction. This is lot 2265. If that floats your boat, um, no idea on the estimate on that one, but should be around 100 or so, I would have thought. Probably cost a lot more than that. And it might even be Laura Ashley as well. I think. Um, let's have a dive through the furniture. I'm not, not sure what exactly I'm expecting. Um, oh, this is um, quite interesting. Lot 2218. This is mid century furniture, and this is a stag um, desk, or it would have been um, a dressing table. But it's a nice, small, compact desk that can be now. I believe it's got the original label in the drawer there as well for stag furniture. And we had one of these in our recent mid-century and design sale, which I think did quite well. I think it made about two or three hundred pounds in the end. Um, but that should, we're expecting high things for that. Uh, what else have we got? Some office furniture. 
And the there's another piece here. So this is a um, linen fold settle, a hall settle with the rising seat as well, so you can store all your mounds of shoes inside. That's quite a nice small one. Huge. Look at that. Gilt framed mirror. Massive thing on the end with another one in front of it, more Regency style mirror. Look at that. Decoration, this one. Again, this is, this is a reproduction. I'll just pull this one forward so you can see exactly what it looks like. Well, that's quite attractive. If you've got the wall space for it, that is. <laughs> More Laura Ashley lamps at the front here. The angel wing lamps. And a nice brass fender with the seat. And long case clocks. All sorts of drawer units. There's one really interesting thing I would like to show you in the basement, so we'll have a look down there now. So this is the really unusual thing um, for at least in the granary sale. This is lot 2673, a nice small size pool table, uh, which does come to pieces as well. Um, it's got most of the balls, you're only lacking one red and a yellow, um, but I'm sure they're easy enough to find. But it's, uh, it's got a nice sort of base as well, so once you pot a ball, it will, all the balls roll down uh, to one end. I'll see what I can do with one shot, maybe. And that was obviously very uneventful. <laughs> we won't be here for any longer than that, don't take up any more of your time. But it's um, really nice condition as well, obviously being used. Um, but it seems to be all there, from what I can see, and you've got a, a few cues to go in as well, and the scoreboard. So just a nice unusual thing to see in the granary sale room. Um, it's coming round to that time of year again, although it might seem like it's a long time away, but um, now's the time to invest in your, in your summer furniture. Um, while it's cold and while no one else is thinking about it, um, now's the time to, to bag a, a nice bargain for your garden. So these are lot 2680, really nice pair of um, slatted garden um, loungers, yeah, but they're a nice large size as well. They should only be um, a couple of hundred pounds or so, but a fraction of the price from what you'd get um, buying them new. And then we'll just have a, a quick um, scan down here to the other mound of furniture that we've got. And also, again, more garden ornaments. Like I said, now's the time to invest in these sorts of things for your garden. Um, what else have we got? Massive chests of drawers, mid-century sideboard down there. I know it's a bit difficult to see, but the best thing to do is to come and have a look. Um, you've got to have a route around here. It's, you'll find exactly what you want um, there's, because there's such a massive selection. So we'll leave it there. Um, the sale is on Wednesday and Thursday, as usual. They start at 9.30 in the morning. So please do come and have a look, and thank you very much.